In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Today the Church rejoices in the birth of St. John the Baptist, one of the grander saints, having two feasts, that of his birth and that of his decollation. And today we rejoice at the coming of the forerunner, and we pray that in our day we may heed his words to make straight the way of the Lord in our own hearts and in our own day. Almighty God, to whom all hearts are open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hidden, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name through Christ our Lord. Amen. John the Baptist proclaimed, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven has come near. Let us turn to the Lord in penitence and faith, and humbly confess our sins. Lord Jesus, you stand among us, and we do not recognize you. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, we are not worthy to untie the thong of your sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on you, forgive you your sins, and bring you to eternal life. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory be to God on high, and in earth peace, goodwill towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory, O Lord God, heavenly King, God the Father Almighty. O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ. O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art the most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty God, by his providence, your servant John the Baptist was wonderfully born and sent to prepare the way of your Son, our Saviour, by the preaching of repentance. Lead us to repent according to his preaching and, after his example, constantly to speak the truth, boldly to rebuke vice and patiently to suffer for the truth's sake. Through Jesus Christ, the same, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the prophecy of Isaiah. Comfort. O oh, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem. And cry to her that she has served her term, that her penalty is paid, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice cries out, In the wilderness prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, 
and every mountain and hill will be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. Then the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all people shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. A voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All people of grass, their constancy is like the flower of the field. The grass withers, the flower fades when the breath of the Lord blows upon it. Surely the people are grass. The grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of our God will stand forever. Get you up to a high mountain, O Zion, herald of good tidings. Lift up your voice with strength, O Jerusalem, herald of good tidings. Lift it up, do not fear. Say to the cities of Judah, here is your God. See, the Lord God comes with might, and his arm rules for him. His reward is with him and his recompense before him. He will feed his flock like a shepherd. He will gather the lambs in his arms and carry them in his bosom and gently lead the mother sheep. The word of the Lord. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies. Free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall be satisfied. Alleluia. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. The time came for Elizabeth to give birth, and she bore a son. Her neighbours and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy to her, and they rejoiced with her. On the eighth day they came to circumcise the child, and they were going to name him Zechariah after his father, but his mother said, No, he is to be called John. They said to her, None of your relatives has this name. Then they began motioning to his father to find out what name he wanted to give him. He asked for a writing tablet and wrote, His name is John. And all of them were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed, and he began to speak, praising God. Fear came over all their neighbours, and all these things were talked about throughout the entire hill country of Judea. All who heard them pondered them and said, What then will this child become? For indeed the hand of the Lord was with him. The child grew and became strong in spirit, and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly to Israel. The Gospel of the Lord. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we give thanks for the birth of St. John the Baptist. And our focus is inevitably perhaps on the birth, rather than trying in some humble way to make an assessment of the greatest of the prophets, which is more appropriate at the Feast of his Decollation. Rather like the other day, when we had twice recently Gospels out of which great chunks had been scooped like the pips from a melon.
day, the Gospel leaves out what is perhaps the highlight of the events surrounding John's birth, the Benedictus, the song of his father, Zechariah, which we pressed into service instead of the appointed song as a canticle. When Elizabeth indicated John's name, his, her relatives, his relatives, all thought that she was being, merely being a silly old woman and that she really oughtn't to be bucking tradition by choosing a non-family name. And so they signalled to Zechariah, which implies that Zechariah may well have been deaf as well as dumb. Perhaps it wasn't just Elizabeth who benefited from that period of silence. Perhaps it was Zechariah who had an excuse not to hear what his wife said. But either way, when he gave his assent to the name, his mouth and perhaps his ears were opened, and he sang this song. The first part of it is, as it were, a paean of praise. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, and why? Because he has visited and redeemed his people. Because he has raised up a horn of salvation, someone who will bring wholeness. Because he has fulfilled the covenant. And interestingly, Zechariah, unlike most of the Jews of his time, doesn't focus on Moses and that covenant at Sinai. For him, the significant covenant is the oath God swore to our father Abraham for freedom without fear to serve God. Zechariah, punished for his lack of faith, has had time to reflect, has deeply reflected, and sings this wonderful song of praise before turning to the baby, whose day, of course, it is. <clears throat> you will go before the face to prepare the way of the Lord. This is <clears throat> typical wordplay. Face and way are phonetically almost exactly the same. And so Zechariah is making a pun. He will go before the face to prepare the way so as to give light and guide his hearers to peace. And <clears throat> at this point, Zechariah is effectively summarizing the Aaronic blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you and to be gracious to you, lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you blessing which, of course, he was not able to give because Gabriel had struck him down at the time of the offering of the evening incense. Now, he comes back to it and he, as it were, transfers the responsibility to the next generation. For Zechariah is saying in his song that the one for whom John will pre prepare the way is the rising star, the Christ. And St. Ephraim, interestingly, saw that as something significant in what Zechariah said. Um, the dawn from on high shall break upon us. St. Ephraim says, points to the Magi's comment to Herod, we have seen his star rising in the east. But the one for whom John prepares the way, the rising star, the Messiah, is the one who in fulfilment of the covenant with Abraham brings salvation. And surely it's no accident that Jesus said to the Jews, your father Abraham rejoiced to see my day he saw it and was glad, as by the grace of God are all who hear and heed his word.
him with the Father and the Holy Spirit be praise and glory now and to all eternity. of the Spirit and in union with Christ we pray to the Father. Lord God, who promised Zechariah a son filled with the Spirit and power of Elijah to prepare a people fit for the Lord, we pray for reconciliation between all people. Holding before you especially at this time the Yemen and Hong Kong and Libya. All who seek to bring and keep peace wherever there is strife. Lord graciously hear us. Lord God, at John's birth, Zechariah proclaimed that he would be the prophet of the Most High. We pray for all called to preach the good news of your Son. In our communion for the Congolese Diocese of North Kivu and the Australian Diocese of Amidale. Praying for Muhindu and for Richard, the bishops, for the clergy and for the people. As also for Martin, our bishop, for William and for Ruth, who suffered in Desi. In our parish partnership, the parish of St. Michael and all angels for its church wardens and worshipping community. Lord, graciously hear us. Lord God, John proclaimed your Son as the Lamb of God, and John's disciples followed Jesus. Help us to follow him also, and by our words and deeds, to bring others closer to you. before you those whom we love. We pray in our own parish on their birthday for Paul and Michelle and for Derek Laird. Lord graciously hear us. Lord God who sent John to witness to the light, to be the voice of one crying in the wilderness and to prepare the way of the Lord. Comfort your people and bring healing to the sick and needy, the brokenhearted and the oppressed, to prisoners and to captives. Especially we pray for those persecuted for the faith, for those infected and affected in the pandemic, and all who serve their needs of body, mind and spirit. We hold before you by name Sue Halliwell, Denise Mottles, Joe Mayhew, Alan Cooper, Amy, Sheila Irving, Mary Sabapathy, Margie Fitter, Christina Wilkinson, Richard Parr, Lindsay Murray, and John Wallace. Praying also by name today for Sophie Hubbard and Andrew and Katie Money, for those on our own hearts. Lord graciously hear us. Lord God, John preached the baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins and suffered imprisonment and death for his proclamation. We remember all who have died in your service, joining our prayers with John the Baptist and all the saints. And we pray especially for those whom we love, our families, friends, and benefactors departed this life. Grant us with them a share in your eternal kingdom. Lord, graciously give us. God our Father, in your tender compassion, the dawn from on high has broken upon us. Shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and guide our feet into the way of peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. We do not presume to come to this, your table, merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness, but in your manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under your table, but you are the same Lord, 
whose nature is always to have mercy. Grant us, therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of your dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. The Lord God of Israel has come to his people to set them free and to guide our feet into the way of peace. The peace of the Lord be always with you. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the cup of salvation. God of our salvation, as we praise you for your servant John Baptist, accept all we bring to you this day. May our communion free us to worship you without fear, in holiness and righteousness all the days of our life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts to give thanks to the Lord our God. <clears throat> it is indeed right and good, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Among those born of women, you marked out John the Baptist with your special favour as the one who prepared the way before your son. His birth brought great rejoicing. Even in the womb he leapt for joy. So near was our salvation. Alone of all the prophets, John hailed the Lamb who takes away the sin of the world. He baptized Jesus, the author of baptism, in waters made holy by the one baptized. By shedding his blood, he gave his last and greatest witness to your son. And so, with angels and archangels, and all the heavenly hosts, we proclaim your glory and join in their unending hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and God of might, heaven and earth, heaven and earth, are full of your glory, your power and might, Hosanna, Hosanna. Hosanna in the highest heaven. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest heaven. Blessed, blessed is he who comes. Blessed, blessed is he who comes. 
Blessed is he, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest heaven. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest heaven. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord, and as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that this bread broken and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat. This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again, he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we offer with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with St. Mary the Virgin, St. John Baptist, St. George the Great Martyr, and all the saints, to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Behold, the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I shall be healed. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, who has visited and redeemed his people.
Let us pray. Merciful Lord, whose prophet John the Baptist proclaimed your Son as the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world, grant that we, who know you in this sacrament and receive your forgiveness and your life-giving love, may ever tell of your mercy and your peace. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Through the tender compassion of our God, may the dawn from on high break upon you and guide your feet into the way of peace. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you.